Uh, welcome to today's learning. Today we are going to learn on how to add a domain or a subdomain to your VPS using CyberPanel. So we are going to use a VPS that I have purchased at Truehost. Truehost Cloud offers online services including domain registration, hosting, VPS services, dedicated servers in different markets. In Africa they are in Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, you will also find them in the UK market, in India, and in the US. So without uh, taking so much time, just go to your browser, indicate the IP address of your VPS. So this is the IP address to my VPS. And as you can see, the VPS is not secure. We have not installed the SSL certificate. But this is a lesson that we are going to learn at a later date. So come here and indicate the username to your VPS. So for in this case, admin is my username and then the password. Then sign in. So allow for some few seconds. So once you log in, this is what you're going to see in, in the home page. So these are the available functions in your VPS. Users, websites, packages, among other functions. So there are two methods through which you can use to add a domain or a subdomain to the VPS. First option, click on websites. Once you click on website functions, the next page that loads, you will see the available functions. Then under the available functions, create website. Click on create website. Now the next page that displays uh, the website details, you need to indicate the website details. This includes the package, the owner, the domain name, email address among other details. So you start with the default uh, with selecting the, the package. If you have not created any packages, just select the default package. So select default. You can then select the owner. In this case, we, the, we do not have not created um, owners, so just select admin as the owner in this case. Then the next one is uh, to indicate the domain name. So the domain name we are going to indicate it without www. So for example, let's say my domain name is my myselfhelp.com. Assuming that is the domain name, that's how you enter the domain name or the subdomain without www. That one is going to be uh, to, to be taken care of once you fill in all the details. So the next one is to indicate the email address. So you can indicate the email address and then select the PHP version. So our VPS comes with quite a number of PHP versions from PHP version 5.3 all the way to PHP version 8.1. So you can select any of the PHP versions you want. And then there are additional features that you can choose, uh, including SSL, uh, NODKIM support, create email. And then once you are done, click on create website. That way you'll be done with adding your domain or subdomain to the VPS. So that is the first option. The second option is once you are in your dashboard, let's go back to the dashboard. Once you log in to the VPS, there is the home page that will be displayed. So this is the the home page that is displayed. So the second option, you can go to your left of your screen, click on websites. Then under websites, there is there are those items that will be displayed under the drop down. So select create website. Now, these are the details now you need to fill, just as we have done before. You come and fill in the details uh, that are required. And then once you're done, click on Create Website. So the second option seems to be a little bit uh, not easy, but simpler. So that is how to add a domain or a subdomain to the VPS. Now, after you have added the domain or the subdomain, uh, to the VPS using CyberPanel, you may want to know or to see the list of the websites that you have created. Once you are in your dashboard, you can go to websites. 
there's a first option and the available functions click on list websites so under this one you'll be able to see the domains or subdomains that you have added to your VPS using cyber panel uh, you, you'll be able to see the the domains here and the subdomain in this case I've only added uh, one domain so you'll be able to see the list of the domains there the other alternative once you are in your dashboard on the home page so just come down here and click on websites under that click on list websites this will take you directly to the websites that you have or the domains or the subdomains that you have added to your VPS using cyber panel so that is our that is how to add a domain or a subdomain to the VPS using cyber panel so thank you very much be on the lookout for next lesson we will be learning on how to add an SSL certificate to your VPS Thank you.